Fitzroy River Turtle This freshwater turtle has acquired quite a reputation as a bum breather. That's right, it breathes through its backside. This special adaptation enables it to remain underwater for an incredible 21 days at a time to feed underwater for longer periods and hide from predators. This turtle can only be found in the Fitzroy Basin in southeastern Queensland. Sadly, feral animals like foxes, cats and pigs, as well as pollution, murky water and sedimentation have rendered them vulnerable according to the IUCN list of threatened species. Australian Southern Cassowary What's scarier than a 60 kilograms modern dinosaur with killer claws? One that can leap 1.5 meters off the ground. To get the most out of their toe daggers, cassowaries can jump feet first, so their claws can slash downward in midair towards their target. They're great sprinters too, with a top running speed of 50 kilometers h through dense forest. Not only that, they're good swimmers, with the ability to cross wide rivers and swim in the sea. That's one animal you don't want to be chased by. Saltwater Crocodile The saltwater crocodile is a near-perfect predator, the result of millions of years of evolution. It is a ferocious, expert hunter that commands respect and fear. The salty is the largest reptile in the world with adult males growing up to 6m in length and weighing 1,000 to 1,200 kilograms. Did you know? A crocodile cannot sweat, so instead it relies on the process of thermoregulation to control its body temperature. To avoid overheating, it will either go into the water or lie still with jaws agape, allowing cool air to circulate over the skin in its mouth. That's why you often see them happily basking in the sun with their mouths wide open. This process is crucial for many bodily functions, including digestion and movement. Mistletoe Bird The pre-poop dancing and bum-wiping routine of the mistletoe bird plays a vital role in the life cycle of this little native bird with its highly adapted diet. After these sweet little red-breasted birds eat mistletoe berries, it defecates by twisting its body sideways, then purposely wipes its poop on the branch it's perched on. The seeds of the berries, which are still intact, are sticky after passing through the digestive tract of the bird. These sticky seeds cling to the branch of their host tree and grow. The parasitic mistletoe only grows high up on other trees, and so this relationship ensures both the bird and bush can survive. Tasmanian Devil Tasmanian Devil, once seen throughout mainland Australia, can now only be found in Tasmania. It plays a crucial role in Tasmania's ecosystem by performing a natural pest control on introduced animals that threaten Tasmania's native wildlife. It's the only native animal to successfully outweat introduced species such as feral cats and red foxes. While the devil is around, it's difficult for feral cats and foxes to breed in Tasmania which is good news, especially for our native animals that have a better chance of survival as a consequence. The devil can, for example, quickly sniff out foxes whose dens are extremely smelly. Such helpful little devils! Short-beaked echidna. The echidna has porcupine-like spines, a bird-like beak, quoll-like pouch, and lays eggs like a reptile. It also feeds their young on milk, but have no nipples, the milk just oozes out of the skin in the pouch, and the puggle licks it up. This strange mix of characteristics is why it's named after echidna, a creature from Greek mythology who is half woman and half snake, as the animal was perceived to have qualities of both mammal and reptile. Laughing kookaburra. Many of us are very familiar with the laughing kookaburras call usually at dusk and dawn, but what does their call mean? This family-oriented bird does its communal call to establish the territory of the family unit and warn off other kookaburras. The family unit may vocalize together like a chorus to amplify their claim to their territory. If any rival families are within earshot they too may respond. Interestingly, researchers have found that members of a family unit laugh in a similar manner. The kookaburra's lotch is a social behavior, so if it's held in captivity alone, it won't laugh. Numbat The numbat is an endangered small marsupial that survives in southwest western Australia. Due to its small size, the numbat is hunted by many animals like feral cats, foxes, dingoes, and birds of prey. Because it's solely on termites which are active by day, the numbat is the only diurnal marsupial. It spends nights hiding in hollow logs or burrows that are too narrow for its predators to enter. To further protect itself from predators at night, it uses its very thick-skinned rump to block the entrance. Now that's using your behind to get ahead. Pellucid Hawk Moth The Pellucid Hawk Moth looks partly moth, partly cicada, and partly glasswing butterfly. According to the Australian Geographic, very few species of Lepidoptera, the insect order, which includes all butterflies and moths, have scaleless, transparent wings. Colored wings can serve many functions, including communication, defense, thermoregulation, feeding, and waterproofing. Thylacin Over 80 years ago, the last thylacin sadly died at Hobart Zoo. 
It earned its more common name at the time, Tasmanian tiger, because of the distinctive tiger-like stripes along its lower back and tail. In fact, this was no tiger or Tasmanian wolf, as it was also known, but a marsupial and therefore not closely related to cats or dogs at all. It had the characteristic pouch of other Australian national treasures such as the wombat, koala, and kangaroo. In most marsupial species, only females possess pouches, which they use to suckle and protect their young. Oddly enough, thylacine males had pouches too. It acted like a protective sheath to cover their external reproductive organs when running through thick bush.